hey everyone it's Gaurav here back with another exciting tutorial so in this video we will be learning how to create beautiful looking emails in the gmail application i'll be showing you two ways of doing that the first one is using inbuilt plugin from the gmail application which is uh, called v template for gmails and the other way is by using a rich text editor uh, something like microsoft word or google docs but i will be using the google docs for this tutorial and i will also be showing you how you can save these emails as a template so that you could use it in the future so let's get started so here we are in the gmail application so as you can see there isn't a lot we can do here we can do some basic editings like changing colors sizes but this is not really convenient at all so let's start using the first method okay let's close this so go to this plus icon here and this will open a new window so you can see there's a lot of different extensions here so we will need the b template and this is one so it's very easy to use it's a drag and drop templates so just install click on this install option okay now make sure you use the same gmail uh, address for signing in Okay, so it is installing in our application and here it is it is done so now let's close uh, this window here and compose our first gmail okay from here click on this small icon this will open this uh, new window so there's a whole bunch of different templates you can use for free they also have a premium service but let's stick with the free ones so let's go with this personal uh, template okay so i will be using this one a birthday template so just click it and there you go this have this uh, nice looking animated gif so let's try changing the text here let's change this to david and you can also delete or insert text and this is the button so let's try changing it as well let's uh, change this to um, open your gift something like that and you can also insert your link here so there you go this is looking pretty fine let's try changing the color as well let's change this to something uh, so you have to choose among these colors you can't insert your custom color so that's a thing you should keep that in mind let's change this to red as well however you can't change the bottom color so that's really not so good actually So yeah this is looking pretty good let's try sending it to one of my mail address okay so let's view this and here it is i think this is looking uh, good actually so this is how you use the b plugin for gmail so now let's try using the other method which is by using google uh, docs and from there we will create this nice looking template i will show you how you can create this from scratch so let's first uh, go and select new document so um, the first thing we want to do is change the page setting a bit so from here go to this file option and from there page setup change this to an a4 size and you can insert any color but that's actually doesn't matter so yeah make sure you uh, change the margin actually so let's change it to 0.4 and then hit ok so there it is so we will be uh, inserting three components here one is the header the body and lastly the footer so everything will be inside a table so from here select this one by one okay now let's edit this table go to the table properties from here we don't need uh, the border so make it zero point 
and also change the column width to 7 so let's change the background actually and give it a nice looking color okay I will go with this one so you can insert image but I will be using this as a logo and change this text size font and the color to something like this now let's insert another table this will be the body of the mail let's change this to 0 pixel as well and set the column width to 7 point and the text alignment to center change this to white actually so you can insert anything but I will be using a gif actually I have already downloaded it so I will just drag and drop it over here change the size to something like this and align it to the center yeah this is looking pretty fine let's add some text mm, happy birthday John and we will change the text size and the font and also the color to match the same color as the header okay let's try changing the cell padding to 0.3 yeah this is looking fine now let's add some dummy text here you can um, add anything so I'm using this uh, website where you can get like dummy text so you don't have to type anything here so make sure you use uh, control shift V to paste it not control V so this will remove the uh, style actually also change the font and the color to a light gray okay so this is looking pretty fine till now let's add a button here we will use the same way by adding a table here as well we will change the width uh, this looks fine let's increase the height uh, this is okay so let's uh, style this as well we will remove the uh, border change the color to match with the header as well and here we will add a text open your gif okay let's style the text as well change the text color to white and we will add a link here okay let's go with this and apply it again change the color to white and remove the underline so this is it this is the body is looking really good actually at this point so lastly let's add the footer we will again use the table and style it we will remove the border and for this we will add a dark color dark gray and the uh, column width to 7 as well let's add our logo which will be zozo <laughs> this looks sounds fun and change the font and also the size to around yeah this is looking good let's add a link below it mm, something like visit us at zozo.com yeah, again change the color to a more uh, light gray and we will paste the link here as well so yeah this is this is looking good so you can do you can play around with it and just make it as you like okay so before that let's uh, see how to save our email as a template for that go to this setting tab here and select this setting option so there's a lot of uh, settings here but uh, let's go to the advanced option from here enable the templates so by default it is set to disable so make sure you enable it
so let's create our mail again okay now select everything using ctrl a and copy it and paste it here so uh, this is it you can edit it as you like you can change your link and text option here so anyways let's save this as a template so uh, go to this icon here and from here template and save draft as template you can name it anything you like so let's try sending it to one of my other gmail and send it and view the message so this is how it looks this is looking really good actually so uh, let's try um, using the save template we have saved uh, before so again let's compose a new mail from here go to this option and from templates and you will see anything you would save it would appear here so just click on it and there we go so it's really easy you don't need to uh, copy every time from your docs so this is it this is for today's video i hope you like it and please make sure to subscribe to the channel and also give a thumbs up to the video until then see you next time